Hey y'all, my name is Candace, and in today's video, I'm doing a Louis Vuitton unboxing. <laughs> this is from the Summer 2021 collection. So let's dive right in. Honestly, I'm really not super impressed after seeing this in person. I did pre-order it with my essay, and I expected the product to be a lot more vibrant than it is in person because of the pictures I saw online and et cetera. So here's the box. And here's the bag. You guys probably already know what this is because I did quickly tell a couple of y'all in the comments what I did order, but here's the dust bag. I got the Speedy 25 Bandolier in broom. That's what it looks like. This is very pretty, just to tell you. It's very pretty, it really is. I have no complaints, you know, about how it looks. It's just not for me, honestly. I don't know, I don't wanna always buy things and then share with you, telling y'all that I love them, that I'm obsessed with them and all of that, because it's honestly not true. And I don't know why people do that, but I'm not one of those people. It's a beautiful bag. I got so many compliments in store from other customers and clients that saw me in store picking this up. But the whole time I'm sitting up there like, ooh, yes, it's pretty, but it's not me. I just expected this to be a lot more colorful and vibrant than it is. I expected the peach and coral at the bottom to be a lot more bright than it is. It's too neutral. I feel like they should have done more of this color up here rather than focus so much of the lighter color up top. I know I'm gonna be in the 1% that does not like this, but I don't like it, okay? I also don't like the fact that it has so much bachata leather, leather all around it. So you have bachata leather here, you have the leather here, not at the bottom, just on the sides, along the seam of the bag, all the way around, the handles, it's just too much going on. And because this is such a lighter bag, I really don't feel like the leather darkening over time will look very appealing on this bag. That's just my personal opinion. Normally I don't care about my leather darkening, like on my monogram pieces. I don't mind the darker leather because I feel like it blends in with the color, but because this is so light, I don't like it. I also don't like the fact that that leather is grained. You can see how much green is in that leather up close. I don't like it. I feel like it will look very worn in no time as far as color transfer, as far as I just know, I'm just familiar with this type of leather because I sold my Givenchy Antigona Mini in white for the same reason. It had that green leather. It showed up stains, even though I didn't have, you know, I didn't leave the color transfer on there. It just showed stains very easily and I didn't like that. And this type of leather reminds me of that. Now, I do have a Vanity PM up there that has that same green leather, but it's kind of different. I like that bag a lot. This one, not so much. But nonetheless, now we've gotten past why I don't like it. In case you do like it, I'm gonna share the good things about it. Whoa, this zipper. Okay, that's not good either. This zipper is like a counterfeit. It doesn't go across easily as at all. Look how much I'm struggling with this. That's and I promise I'm not making this up. It's literally hard to zip this across. The zipper should not be like this. Okay, you're definitely going back. Like I tried to keep this, I've had this for a week now before I even filmed this video. I was like, okay, let me really sit and think about it and see if I like it. I still don't. <laughs> this is the longer strap, more of a cheddar. I would have liked if they did maybe this bright color here with treated leather across the trim and everything, but they didn't. They put the Pachata leather everywhere. I'm just gonna put this on. I've been wanting the Speedy for so long, y'all. Y'all have no idea. I just don't feel like the style is for me. I don't know. Okay, so here it is with the longer strap. It is adjustable. It's so cute, it really is. It is just not me in any way, shape or form. Here is the code in case you're interested in talking with the essay about it. Oops. It does come in three different colors. This one is in broom, as I mentioned. Okay. I believe this is like a lock or something in here. Better make sure to put this back. Yeah. 
So there's a lock in here, in the little box. In case you wanna lock your baby up. Very roomy inside. It's like striped lined leather in there. Very, very roomy inside. Louis Vuitton Paris. Okay, that's pretty cool. It has another Louis Vuitton little tag in the inside, if you see that. There is a zippered pocket against the back. That zipper is a lot smoother than the top zip. I can't believe, I still can't believe they put this like, okay, so it closes easier than it opens. Wow. I cannot believe they put this cheap zipper on here. None of my other Louis Vuitton bags open like this. So I'm not just finding faults in this because I don't like it. That's not the case at all. This zipper is very stiff. I'm not sure if it's just this bag or all of the bags do. Like this, I like that. It holds a lot, first of all. I'll go ahead and do that for you because I honestly don't know if I foresee myself getting another Speedy, but we'll see. But let's quickly show you what fits. Okay, so here's my Speedy. No bag insert or anything because I don't plan on keeping it. So I didn't, I'm didn't. i glad I didn't order one. I wanted to wait until I saw the bag, make sure I liked it and all of that. But we're starting off empty here. I have my six key from Louis Vuitton. I have a, I have a Gucci face powder. It might be a bronzer, but you get the idea. I have my mini pochette from Louis Vuitton. This one is in Dami Azur. Of course, I still have a ton of room in there. I have my card holder from Chanel that I'm currently using. My pure gum. I have a backup charger. I have my camera. And just for kicks, well actually, I can fit my key fob in there as well. Just for kicks, I have my medium agenda here from Louis Vuitton, or my MM agenda. That should fit too, it looks like it will. It would. Whoa. Okay, so you kinda have to turn it sideways first and then slide it in. But it does fit with all of that in there. And of course, if you can fit all of that in there, you obviously can fit things like your phone. I have the 11 Pro Max, as you all know. I can even fit a small bottle, even a bigger bottle of water in there. I'll be careful without a bag insert so it doesn't spill everywhere, but it can sit flat against the side. You see that? But with all of that in there, it's pretty heavy. So you know, be cautious. Like if you're carrying a top handle, especially, which is one of the many ways you could wear it. I'm gonna show you that as well, but I want to show you how roomy this is. This is actually one of the first bags that my agenda can fit in. So that is nice. I just don't like the colors. I know some people love neutrals. They're all about neutrals. I love neutrals too, don't get me wrong, but that's just not what I was going for for this bag. I wanted to see more of the coral come through and it just didn't. So that's a big disappointment. Let me take this water out of here before they don't accept my return. Okay, me, I'm gonna try it on to show you how you can wear it and so forth. So there are multiple ways in which you can wear the Speedy. That's a great thing about it. Another great thing other than it being roomy and storing a lot of stuff. You can rock it top handle. You can wrap it, rock it in the crook of your hand. You can wear it shoulder style, crossbody. There's so many different ways in which you can wear it. That's why a lot of people love the Speedy. Number one is a great bang for your buck. And the price, let's see how much this baby costs. Well, the bandolier, of course, is more expensive because you're also paying for the strap. If you were to buy the traditional Speedy, like the Damir Azur, Ebene, Ebene monogram, you would buy the Speedy plus the strap. For this particular limited edition one, it comes with a strap, but it is more expensive with the strap. So it's $25.20 for the bag and the strap. It also comes with the bag charms. Don't know if I showed y'all those up close. I'm honestly not super huge on bag charms, so that really didn't impress me all that much. But I also do realize there are two other bolder colors. They have the rose color scheme and no, I think the other one is called like Azura Blue or something. I don't know. I do realize those may be brighter, but I just don't like those color combinations. I know it's weird because I love color, but I don't know, nothing else just really spoke to me in this collection. I think that the multiple chats are cute, but I kind of have that style already. I really am not interested in getting another color scheme in the same style. I don't know, it's just me. This collection was really a big disappointment to me. I know a lot of people love it, 
but I don't feel like I need to get something from every single collection. It's just not realistic. And nice. For this, I do plan on returning it, but I do plan on getting things in place of it off my wish list. Maybe the Palm Springs Mini, maybe. I think you call them the Louise earrings. That might be wrong, don't quote me. But it's the big hoops with the LV. I've been wanting those for forever. So I might trade this in towards the Oos. But this is definitely going back because I don't like it. Oh no, God! It kind of sucks because these aren't available in store like you would have had to pre-order to get it. So somebody's going to be really lucky to get this that really loves it more than I do. But I'm definitely not keeping it. I've come to terms with that. Also, as far as other details, it's made in France. That is on the outside of the bag at the bottom there. That's just on that side. But it's just too many, it's too, too okay, so the zip, oh, the zipper. I can't get past why they would put this cheap zipper on here, but <laughs> in the video now, I will link another similar video to them right here. If you have any questions about this bag, leave me them down below questions about anything else, comments about anything, requests, etc. all of that, let me know. Also, my lip of the day would be in the description bar as well, linked for you. Talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.